Hey, Math 131, I'm going to show you how to tile a plane. Now, what exactly is tiling a plane? Well, it's when you take a shape uh, and repeat it enough times uh, to where it fills the entire area, leaving no gaps between any of the shapes. Uh, so, for example, and this is like a very basic example here, uh, too regular, but we won't fit for now for <laughs> visual context, but uh, all these squares, uh, all these squares on this grid are tiling a plane right now. We have a whole bunch of squares, they're all touching each other, there's no gaps, uh, they're all uh, reflected and rotated around the midpoint. So uh, what we see here is an example of just tiling a plane. You know, all, all of these, all these are touching each other. Um, but what we're going to do here is that we're going to make a tiled plane using irregular quadrilateral. So let's go to geometry calculator on GeoGebra uh, and create a shape. Uh, any shape. Uh, let's plot in points here at random. Sure. Alright, so we have a quadrilateral right here. Uh, what we need to do is put the midpoints on this shape so that we have a reference point to which we know uh, where and how to rotate our given side. So let's find the midpoint tool. And we're just going to click these lines to plot the midpoint. I do want to point out here the difference between you know the midpoints and the end points, uh, uh, at least when you're using GeoGebra. Now with the end points, you will notice that they're colored blue. This means you're able to adjust them however you like. Uh, however, these points, the midpoints, are colored gray. And you cannot move them no matter how much you try, no matter how many times you play it through, you will never move these. Uh, that is because the endpoints are independent, they don't really rely on anything, they can go wherever they please. Uh, the midpoints, however, are dependent on the line segments, and they cannot move because they are the midpoints and anchored to the line segment that they are the center of. So we can adjust this however we wish, but we can't move the midpoints. Um, let's see what shape do I want. Let's do, let's do, you know what, let's make a funky little shape. Let's do something like this. We usually work for trapezoids and rectangular like figures in class, but hey, look, there's a little arrow. I think that'll make a pretty cool shape. Uh, so we have our quadrilateral, we have our midpoints. Uh, and now it's time to start uh, rotating uh, little bits of our shape so that we can make a shape just like this, but reflected. So to do that, there's a tool in GeoGebra called uh, uh, Rotate Around a Point. And we're going to want to select this tool. And now what we're going to do is, uh, let's, let's decide a base. Let's decide a line segment that will be uh, our base that we rotate everything on. So let's do G. Let's let's pick G as our base midpoint. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to select a line, any line on this uh, segment except for line BC, and we're going to select point G, and we're going to rotate this 180 degrees. Now you see here that uh, line BA is out here, uh, and what we did was that we rotated, <laughs> we rotated line AB and got uh, line BA out here, so let's do it again with the other lines. Uh, let's select this one, and we're going to rotate around point G. 180 degrees. Oh, look at that. We're going to take AC, rotate it around point G, 180 degrees. And if 
you look closely, you will find that we have two shapes that are the same to each other. They are touching and there are no gaps between them. So right now, uh, this is just the beginning of tiling things. We have two of the same shapes sharing the same size with no gap. So let's do it again one more time in case you didn't catch that. So we're going to take, oh, let's create some midpoints first. So we're going to be using uh, quadrilateral CDAB for this since we just used ACDB, uh, just to show that like you can do this with any of the shapes that you made on the plane. You can take any shape, take any of its midpoints, and flip it around. So let's create some midpoints. If I can find it. There it is. Alright, we're gonna set our midpoints. Excuse the uh, noise in the background, if there is any, I have roommates. And we're gonna rotate it. Alright, so let's pick point uh, K. Let's pick point K as our new uh, point that we're gonna, midpoint that we're gonna rotate everything on. So let's take this line, got K, 180, this line, K, 180, and this line, K, 180, and we just made a third quadrilateral, no gaps, no spaces of any kind, all connected with each other here. Now there is a quicker way to, you know, fill up the plane here. Uh, we don't have to do it line by line because that will take forever. Uh, and we really don't have the time to just go line by line by line. We have busy lives. So let's get this uh, sped up over here. Let's uh, make this entire shape a little polygon. Uh, just expanded our shape. We started with uh, A, B, D, C. And now we have this big worm, lightning bolt, mustache, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> shape, shape right here. So we have our uh, polygon selected, and we can use that polygon to still rotate around a given point, and it should help us uh, with completing a tile plane even faster. Uh, so, select around a given point, let's select our polygon, and let's choose a midpoint any midpoint that we have here, or make new ones over here, it does not matter, but choosing midpoint to reflect our shape. So I'm going to do J. I'm going to do 180 degrees, and we see that we have another shape here. We see that it's reflected downwards. Hmm. Can we still have a tile plane if it's reflected in a different direction? Of course you can. You're just rotating the shape over and over again to fit a given area. So let's do it again. Let's take this shape and rotate it. Around. We have no midpoints here. Let's set up midpoints. Uh, all right, we got we got a midpoint here. So let's select this polygon and select our point. Rotate 180 degrees, and bam, we have another one. And we see that it's in the same direction as our first one. So of course we can fit our uh, our shapes together like little puzzy, puzz, puzzle pieces. Excuse me. So as you see here, uh, this is how we tile a plane. We take the midpoints, and we reflect the shape around that midpoint. And if we continue to do that, we will have repeating shapes of the same shape uh, without any gaps, without any spaces whatsoever, and we can fill up an entire space with that shape. So yeah, this has been Tiling a Plane with Liz, and I hope you all have a good day.